love and relationship. Love and relationship always stay together. They bring anxiety, anguish and turmoil. One who has never been in anxiety, anguish and turmoil will never attain to maturity. These anxiety, anguish and turmoil brings maturity in love relation. Love is not a relationship as it is generally conceived. It cannot be. Love indeed is a state of being. Love is your inner happening. Although both love and relationship are seen as complementary to one another, but they are not. When love and relationship are embedded together, many problems emerge. So these troubles, conflicts, anger, hatred, jealousy, possessiveness, domination and thousand and one things come with relationship as an essential part of it. When these come never shift, these will give you maturity. When you go through these problems, you attain to a different kind of maturity. Naturally, you want to go into relationship. Also, it is natural whenever you enter into a relationship, a part of your mind always wants to avoid it and there are reasons for it. First, you are lonely within. You have not discovered the other shore. You exist as one shore and River of life cannot flow in one shore. You exist as one shore and without the other shore, the river of life cannot flow. Your life is moving unconsciously like a robot and you want to go into relationship. You have a desire and you want to go into a relationship because all relationships starts because of a desire and each relationship brings problems, difficulties, challenges and miseries. Also it brings conflict. So another part of the mind says why get into this trouble and both are right. Alone you feel lonely alone you feel sad, alone you feel life to be meaningless. Life's poetry arises only when you are together with somebody. Life is meaningful only when you are in love, deeply in love. Otherwise it seems meaningless. Mind wanders. Why go on living? For what? And for whom? So one part of the mind aspires to love someone, be loved by someone, share your energy and celebrate its togetherness. The other part of the mind says to be careful. Each relationship turns out to be a problem, a sour one. Each relationship creates ugly scenes. Alone there was no problem. Together ugliness comes when you enter into relationship and many problems. Indeed, you are the problem. There is no other problem. However, with the other person, there are many problems and then together both of you multiply these problems. One part of the mind goes on admonishing you from getting into this trouble. Alone at least you are peaceful. You may not be happy, right, but at least you are peaceful. 
in relationship who knows if happiness will happen or not but one thing is certain peace will certainly be destroyed this is why the conflict of love and relationship it is in every human being each likes to love and each likes to avoid now one has to understand this one thing is that right now if you avoid relationship you will not grow you will remain stuck you will not grow you will remain immature because these challenges that relationship brings are necessary for inner growth all these challenges are growth opportunities but we consider these as problems the moment you start accepting these challenges as growth opportunities your entire gestalt changes never consider these as problems these are tasks to be done you have to do that homework otherwise you will never grow just think of a man who has never been in any trouble he will not attain to maturity one who has never been in anxiety anguish turmoil he will never mature he will remain childish he will not have the backbone and any small thing will destroy him and his composure he will not have any stamina to stand up against anything so these troubles conflicts anger hatred jealousy possessiveness domination and thousand and one things come with relationship they are all great opportunities to be used to go beyond them it is good these are stepping stones opportunities for growth certainly one day will arrive when you will not need anyone but then there is no problem then you are so happy alone that there is no problem and there is no need for any company there is no question of being related but you can relate with anyone right now it will be very harmful for you to avoid relationship plunge into them and while young go through all sort of problematic situations so by the time you become physically mature you also attain to psychological maturity otherwise what happens people become physically mature psychologically they remain childish you will find them everywhere they are face looks as if they are 50 and if you just scratch the surface you will find a 12 year old child deep within they remain psychologically immature inside they are just stupid children so this is for you to decide one thing is certain maturity and growth comes through difficulties i always favor difficulties it is difficulties and problems that give you the gap of maturity therefore never avoid them whenever you find a difficulty make it a challenge forget about everything else and jump into the difficulty whole heartedly and to love a difficult person is one of the most beautiful experiences i repeat it once again to love a difficult person is one of the most beautiful experiences never 
find a person who has no difficulties. He will not be of any help to you. Nothing will come out of you. It is only after going through difficulties that you mature. This is the crux of love and relationship.